Tom, talk us through the emotions straight after the game. Uh, incredible win against Bristol here at the Brewery Field. Yeah, you, you know, great to get a win against um, you know Premiership side like that. They came fully loaded, uh, and it's excellent to get the result. I suppose in the fashion that we did, right to the death, um, makes it all the more exciting. Um, so yeah, chuffed, chuffed. It was a strange old game. We lagged probably for about 75 minutes up to the 80. We found ourselves on the back foot under the pump for long, long periods. So where was the game won and lost? Yeah, obviously our defence was tested for large, large periods, and I think uh, you know we showed really good energy uh, and intent to keep them out. Um, but then you know the, the, the sort of effort and the character shown to, to stay in that fight, keep battling, and then to come back right, right at the death was uh, was outstanding. It was a very strong Bristol selection, and we had a lot of first team regulars in that side, and we had a lot of youngsters on ours. So it actually says a lot about the character and again the continued development and growth of the squad that we've got here. Yeah, you know this competition is great, great for um, our younger players uh, to play in, but. Then when teams come down here, you know, as strong as Bristol did today, it's excellent that those young players can go out and test themselves against that that type of uh, opposition. Um, so yes, yeah, you know, it's great, great for them. And there are a number of young players who came to the fore and showed what they're all about. Yeah, it's been great over the last couple of weeks with British and Irish Cup. Um, those players have had an opportunity to play in that, and then obviously to step up to the Anglo Welsh then. And uh, I think that's been a really good. The two weeks in the British Irish Cup has been a really good lead into this. They've trained really well um, in the in the week, and we asked before the game to show a little bit of emotion because historically we've been really good at this ground against you know some some tough English opposition, and you know I think they uh, they emulated that tonight. We talked a little bit earlier about some of the big games that have gone here in the past and some of the big occasions, but I think this one. To be remembered by everybody who's here for a long time for the right reasons. Yeah, it, we've we've sometimes fallen short, you know, put in really good performances, but maybe fallen short. Same effort was shown today, but it's always nice to finish, you know, up on the scoreboard. So, you know, that's the, that extra sort of cherry on on the top of the cake. And where does it leave us now? We have got a game left in this competition away to Wasps next week. Now, the region will traditionally always have a development focus on this tournament, but we go there. A very real chance of progressing to the knockout stages. So, does it change the approach anyway, or is it business as usual? I think it's business as usual. Obviously, we're highly com competitive as we always are at the Ospreys. Um, but we talk about getting the process right, and if the, we get the process right, then hopefully the the result will follow. And you know, it's going to be a massive test uh, for us going up to Wasps next week. But you know, we'll just train as we have done this week, make sure that we get our detail spot on. If we can turn up with the attitude. Um, that the boys show today, then hopefully the result will come and you know, hopefully progress into the uh, the knockout rounds. The one thing finally that's happening for certain is that winning is a good habit to have on the 11 wins and the bounce. It's only going to grow confidence across all levels of the Ospreys. Definitely, you know, changing squads, you know, um, a lot of changes due to obviously our contribution to the Wales the Wales squad, um, and we spoke about using this two-week period in the Anglo-Welsh to build momentum when we go back to Pro 12, you know, because there's going to be a lot of those guys who had opportunities today who are going to be putting their hands up for Pro 12 selection and there is key that we keep this momentum building, you know, not just for this competition, but obviously for competitions to come.